Yo what's up guys it's your boy Drills back with another blender tutorial. Today we're going to be turning those fire cuban chains you made last time into sleek pro level renders. I'm going to be showing you how to turn these basic models into photorealistic renders like this. So let's get into it. First thing you're going to do you're going to go to blenderkit.com. I'm going to leave the link in the description and you're going to download blenderkit. This is a really handy tool to have for rendering and I'll get into showing you some of its features in a minute. Before now, you're just going to click on download Blender Kit. Once that's downloaded, you're going to head over to Blender. You're going to click on edit. You're going to go to preferences. You're going to make sure you've got add-on selected and you're going to hit install. You're then going to find the zip file you just installed. You're going to select it. And you're going to click install add-on. Once it's there, it should be ticked. Just make sure it's ticked. Just hit refresh just to make sure it's still there. And then you're going to have this menu right here. Now this is going to give you models. It's going to give you textures. It's going to give you scenes. It's going to give you HDRI is what we're going to be using. And it's going to be giving you some brushes for sculpting. Alright, so we want to get our object and our mannequin or whatever we want into the render. In. Then we're going to add a plane. Once we've added the plane, we're going to stretch it out on the x-axis. And then we're going to go into edit mode. We're going to select faces and we're going to select this back face. We're going to extrude that on the z-axis upwards, quite a long way. Then we're going to select the edge again. We're going to control and B to bevel it. We're going to pull it out something like this. And then we're going to turn the segments up to 100. Next we're going to go back to object mode, we're going to right click and we're going to shade smooth. Now this is called an infinite background or an infinite backdrop. It's a real basic but effective background when you're trying to render images. We're going to go to the materials tab and we're just going to play around with the material. We want to get something that looks a little bit shiny so it gives off a nice reflection of the object. You can't really see it at the moment because we're not in rendered mode but you will see if you turn the roughness all the way down you'll basically have a mirror finish. Now if we do go into render mode you're going to notice that it's dark. We need to change the rendering type to cycles as well. And the reason it's dark is because we don't have a HDRI for any lighting. So we're going to open up our Blender kit. We're going to go to HDRIs and we're going to find one that we like. I'm looking for one with lighting but a little bit of clouding so it's got some difference in the lighting effect. This one will be fine. And you'll notice instantly we've got some light on our object. So you need to grab this corner and drag out another window. And then drag another one down so we've got free viewport. So we're going to be focusing on this one for a minute. Now the first thing we need to do, we need to add a camera so we've got something to look through, something to render. We're going to add our camera. And if we want to look through our camera, we're going to click on view. We're going to click on align view. And we're going to click on align active camera. Now that box is actually going to be looking through our camera, but we do need to move the camera. So I think I'm going to change it around a little bit. I'm actually going to set this one, the rendered image, to be the viewing through camera. So the box around our object is what you're going to see in the render. So we're just going to move it around a bit until we've got a nice position. Now if we come up to this window, we select here, we go on Shader Editor, and we change it to World. We're going to have these nodes. Now if we come down to the mapping, play with the rotation, what it's actually going to do is it's going to rotate the HDRI scene. That in effect is going to change the lighting on our object. If I change the viewport on this window, you'll be able to see it in action. 
So when I'm turning this, you can see the HDRI is turning, but our objects are staying still. I'm not gonna put tons of effort into this because I want the tutorial to be short and sweet, but obviously you can spend a lot of time playing around, getting your lighting right and making things look perfect. But when you do find a sweet spot, all you gotta do is hit F12 and it's gonna start the render process. This rendering will take some time, but obviously I've cut out that time so that you can just see the finished result. And there we go. Now if you want to save this image, you're just going to go up the top, you're going to click on image, you're going to click save image, and then you're going to find somewhere to save it. Now if you haven't made a chain before and you'd like to learn how, if you click the video in the bottom right hand corner, this is going to take you through my tutorial that takes you through the whole process from A to Z. If you click the link in the bottom left hand corner, we're going to take you into the world of debadging cars for 5M. Also, if you join my Discord, the link's in the description, we've got tons of free items, free software, and we give out support over there too. We've got a nice little community, everyone helps each other, so why not come and join? And one last thing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.